safety fundamental things. Make sure you read the label before you store it or use it. Okay, so whether it's turpentine or paint or alcohol or some other kind of flammable, make sure you read and it's stored correctly. Okay, certain things do have special storage devices. Uh, what are some of the things on labels that you that you read with uh, storage? What's probably the biggest thing? Temperature. Temperature, right? Make sure you store it between or below or you know certain temperature. Right. Okay. Good housekeeping, that just means you keep all lids on tight. Uh, any kind of uh, spillage you wipe up okay, and dispose of correctly. Uh, make sure the doors are locked, or, or uh, uh, not locked, but the, the doors shut all the way. All your safety features work on all your cans. Make sure your fire control's there. Make sure your egress routes are there. So just following all your good housekeeping. Clean up spills immediately and then place rags in the covered metal container. Uh, you are allowed to burn them. I'm kidding, you're not. Okay? Unless you live out in the boonies east of here by about 90 miles or so. <laughs> it's just, I'll be quiet. Only use approved metal safety containers or original manufacturer's can containers to store flammable liquids. So whatever it came in or if you have some kind of safety can if you need to transfer. Okay? That would be like getting a, a 55 gallon drum of diesel fuel you only transfer it into the can. Uh, what you're going to use, if you do transfer too much, store it in a safe. It's got to be stored in a safety can. It can't be stored in a, you know, an open tub or something like that. Uh, keep stuff away from exits and passageways. Only use where there's plenty of ventilation. Keep uh, ignition sources to a minimum. Summary: Two primary hazards: explosion and fire. Okay, uh, operate for OSHA, and then this also references uh, NFPA Standard 30 is where, remember OSHA, from back to the intro, OSHA uses other, if, if OSHA has criteria, but somebody else has established criteria that OSHA is fine with, or maybe it's more restrictive, they'll reference those more restrictive ones. So NFPA, um, National Fire, was it National Fire Protection Association? Uh, NFPA standard number 30 deals with flammable liquids. Okay. So, any questions? Okay, I have another test. This is the last short test you take. Then you got one more test to take. It's going to take you about 